I wanted to make a quick little video to talk about how to calibrate an air blast sprayer because it's not quite as straightforward as just catching the water out of a nozzle like you would on a boom sprayer. So I'm going to walk you through the process of how I do it. It's not the only way to do it, but it's the way I do it and it works really well. First thing we're going to do is choose the gear we want to spray in. Choose the RPM you want to spray at. This is important because it affects your speed as well as your pressure. Then time how long it takes you to drive a certain distance. I use my greenhouse because it's 100 foot. Nice round number. I measured a certain amount of water in my sprayer. I used two gallons, but you could use whatever. Cut your PTO on. Run your RPMs up to where you need them to be to spray. And run your sprayer for that amount of time with it spraying just plain water. Now this little bit of water that's left in here, I'm fixing to measure out with my handy measuring cup. And by process of subtraction, I'm gonna know exactly how much I sprayed out in that 25 seconds that it took me to drive 100 foot if I had been in third gear. We'll be able to do a little bit of math and figure up exactly how much we're spraying on an acre. All right, so I got three quarts back out of it after it was all said and done, and I put three gallons in there to start with. So that tells me that I'm spraying two gallons and one quart in the 25 seconds that it took me to go the 100 foot length of this greenhouse. Back in the day when I had a GoPro, I would have shown you how to do the math as I did it on my phone. But since I'm uh, videoing on my phone, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to have to find something to write with, write on rather, and I'll show you how to figure this up. 2.25 gallons was the output of my sprayer in that 25 seconds that it takes my tractor to travel 100 foot in third gear at 1500 RPMs. The RPM is really important because not only does it affect your travel speed, it affects the flow of your pump. So you get a double whammy if you mess up on that. Um, 100 foot, my sprayer is spraying uh, 25 foot of coverage because I spray 50 foot blocks and I go down each side. So we're getting 2,500 square foot covered per um, this amount of travel. I was just recently corrected in the comments and I appreciate it. I, after I googled it I was like well I've been doing the math wrong all this time. There's actually 44,000 square foot roughly, 43,000 and change, close to 44,000 square foot in an acre. So 44,000 square foot divided by the 2,500 square foot covered with that amount of solution gives me 17.6. If I multiply that by my actual gallons right here, that tells me I'm spraying 39.6 gallons per acre. That's a little bit more than I would really like to be putting out right now, but I just have to adjust that by adjusting my RPM and my gear. And I am not gonna go back through the entire process again on camera. I am gonna go back through the whole process because I'd really wanna get down to around between 25 and 30 gallons to the acre because I want to spray two uh, acres with one sprayer full. Uh, but it's about to get dark on me and that's when I want to start spraying these pumpkins. Trying to kill some cucumber beetles so they don't start eating the orange off the outside of my jack-o'-lanterns. Um, kill some pickle worms so they don't start boring holes in the bottom of my, all my other pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns included. And also I'm going to spray some quadrus to try to keep the uh, flectosporium and um, it, there's a plethora of other things that Quadris is good for, but primarily at this point I'm concerned about flectosporium because I want to keep my stems in good shape 
Everybody wants good handles on their jack-o'-lanterns. If your stems are rotting off, you're not going to sell you jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and I, I really had in mind spraying a Provia for gummy stem blight because that's a big issue. Black rot, gummy stem blight, same thing uh, at this point in the season. But uh, at the moment, I'm starting to see a little bit of Flectosporium, so I'm going to try to uh, knock that in the head and keep it from spreading around. But I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If I left anything out, feel free to drop it in the comments. And I will try to clear it up. See y'all next time.